Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a scrapbook.com haul. Now this is two different orders that I placed. Um, so I did get two different freebies. One of them was um, these like flat uh, stickers, the alpha stickers. And one of them was a paper roses die and it just says hello and it has like a shadow die just as you guys see in here. So I want to show you guys the couple of freebies that I got. Um, but let me show you also what I picked up for my two different orders. Um, a lot of single sheets, which I'm going to go through all of them. And that's because for a lot of them, they were just having them on sale. So they were nice and cheap. They weren't the dollar oh four. They were much cheaper than that. So I'm going to show you guys all that. I did pick up the 31 collection. I wasn't going to, and me and Prima don't really go together, but um, you guys made me um, because a lot of people have been wanting to see projects with that. Um, I don't even know if I'll get to it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but anyway, let's just get started, and I'll show you guys everything I picked up from scrapbook.com. Okay, so I did pick up the Sweet Story Puffy Bows. I had these last year. Um, this is like the only thing I like from Sweet Story. Everything else is too colorful for me. And I did sell off all of my Sweet Story um, paper collection. But I do like the bows and they were on sale a lot. Um, I used all six bows of mine last year on some cards that I made so I just thought I would pick them up because they were super um, discounted and very cheap so I got those um, I did pick up the Boo Crew journal bits I have this collection that I found from a cherry on top it was on sale on a cherry on top the whole collection kit for 10 bucks instead of 15 um, so I just picked up the journal bits that go with it and this is what it looks like you've got like some journal cards or lots of them You've got some tags and some word phrases and I just you know I like these kinds of things because they help me decorate like the covers of my albums and whatnot so I like to pick them up sometimes um, especially like the seasonal ones because they're super duper helpful so I got those I got some enamel dots I can't remember if these were on sale or not a lot of the stuff that I did pick up was on sale but not everything um, but anyway, this is the, oh, I don't think these were because this is the new fall collection and it's got mustard, like this burnt orange, a white, a red, and a brown. And I'm always running out of mustards. I don't have a lot of mustard colors and I seem to be needing them more and more often, especially during these kinds of um, months for like fall crafting and even just like neutral crafting. They go with a lot of the Maggie Holmes collections. So I keep seem to be running out of the mustard so that's the main reason that I purchased this one because of the mustard so that's some enamel dots and again I'm gonna have everything linked down below for you guys I'm not sure I'm gonna link all the single sheets but everything else I will um, I got these thickers um, they say adventure not sure what collection it's from but I will link it down below and I'll name it adventure so it just says adventure, smile, beautiful, vacay, road trip, explore, and my friend, you've got like a flamingo, some florals, a taxi. So it's like a little travel adventure kind of thing. And then the back side says celebrate, getaway, love, moments, family, and oh happy day. Um, so I did get these. Again, they just help decorate albums. So I got those. These I don't believe were on sale, but I just wanted some smaller alpha stickers um, to have in my stash. I have a lot of the bigger, like regular size ones, but I don't have um, many of the smaller ones. So I just thought I would pick up these gold smaller thickers, just the alpha thickers. Um, then I got this, fo these foam stickers from the Winter Cottage Collection. So it says Mary, Hello Winter, 24, all bundled up, Joy, Wonder, 25, Mary, um, that thing, 12, for like 12 days of Christmas if you want that. And then the back side just has a bunch of numbers, so how cute would this be in like your own personal like December daily? I mean, that seems like a lot of foam <laughs> to have on every single page, but I mean, it is an option. So those are the Winter Cottage foam stickers. Then I picked up two of these, the Boo Crew. 
Again, I really just like um, having things like this to decorate on covers of albums, so it doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily use it with the Boo Crew collection because it's just, it's Halloween colors. It goes with pretty much almost all the Halloween. Um, even, even the pastel, maybe not all of these, but like the Boo you could use with the pastel Halloween. Maybe even the Happy Halloween if there's some orange in it. And this is actually different shades of orange, like that's orange and then was darker unless I'm just going crazy nope maybe it is the same shade I don't know it looks like it's a little darker at one point um anyway from the back side says hey pumpkin okay that's definitely an ombre right there um r.i.p trick or treat question mark beware spooky night and eek so I really really liked these so I just picked up two of them they're probably going to sell out so I thought I would pick them up then I got these smaller alpha stickers as well, and these were cool because they're a matte black. I don't remember which collection this is from, but again, I will link it down below for you guys. But it's like a matte black foam sticker, and I thought that was really cool. Most of the time you like see the shiny ones, I really like the matte black, especially for Halloween crafting, so I definitely got that. Um... I picked up some single sheets from the Sweet S Honey collection. Um, I found the whole collection kit on a cherry on top, which I'm also going to be showing you guys um, that haul video coming up next or soon um, because scrapbook.com didn't have the whole collection kit, but they had a couple of the single sheets. And then a cherry on top had the whole collection kit, but they barely had any single sheets. So I ended up placing two orders from both websites and I do that a lot like I go between the two of them and I find like what I need at one and if they don't have it I go to the other and so on so that's I do that a lot um so I loved that Sweet as Honey collection so many of you guys love that paper and the projects I've made with it and I was just like okay I would just get another one so I have that collection so this is the striped paper from that and I just I love this floral paper in it so I just picked up another one of those sheets it's the Sweet Pollen um, from Sweet As Honey. That's what this one is called. Then I also got this one. This one's called Sunflowers. So you get this gray on one side and you get this sunflower design on the other side. So I just got that. Um, then I got some more of the Boo Crew. And I do, again, have this collection that I found from a cherry on top. But I wanted some more of the cut-aparts because, again, I feel like these cut-aparts you could use basically with any collection. They don't just have to be with this specific collection. Like, this is just black and white. You could use it with any Halloween. Same thing with this and a lot of these. So I picked up one, two, three, three sheets of those of just the cut-aparts. Then I got um, the tag sheet, just one of these. So I did get that. And the back side of these has, like... The journal space or it's blank or it's got like a grid so those are always fun with the simple stories papers i did pick up some of the heritage and i got these because of like the yellow on the back side i've been using a lot of like yellows lately so i thought i would pick up some more of these so i got that single sheet got two of those then again i wanted some more mustard colors so i picked up three of this one so it's just these like photos on one side which i never use that side but I love, love, love this side. And it just seems to go with like all of the Maggie Holmes collections. And sometimes I just need like one more sheet. Um, and it needs to be like something kind of neutral like this. So um, this has been working out a lot. I already went through two sheets of my own. So I just picked up three more. This is from the Pebbles Spooky Collection. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the names of these. So this heritage one is called Generations. That's this one. Um, the other one was called Heritage Elsie. Um, then you've got the Boo Crew. This is Boo Crew Tags. And this is the Boo Crew 3x4 Elements. Okay, and I think that's all. I think we're all caught up now. So let me continue. Okay, so this one is Pebbles Spooky called Monster Mash. I don't believe I got it for this side, but I believe I got it for this side with the eeks. I just thought I could use it for anything, basically. Um, I got some single sheets from the 31 collection. Let me flip these. And I did get the 31 collection as well, but 
again, I, um, you know, me and Prima don't really go well together. Why do I have so many? Did I just order like a gazillion cut aparts? What did I do here? Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on guys, please hold. So I got the four by six cut aparts. Um, and I was just thinking that these also go with like Pinkaboo. If you guys have the Pinkaboo collection from Recollections from I think it was last year, maybe two years ago, I did use already some of the journal cards from the Prima 31 collection with my Pinkaboo. So I did use some of those. Um, that's what I intended these for, just to use with other um, Pastello, Pastel Halloween collections. So four by six, and then you've got ghosties on the back. But again, I just got them for the cut apart. So I got three of those because me and cut aparts, we go so well together. Then I got these Pebbles Spooky. This is called October 31st. So it's got some tags here, but then a bunch of three by four cut aparts as well. Um, and I do have the 12 by 12 paper pad for this collection, but again, I'm so happy that this one actually has separate um, cut aparts. I think I have this paper collection. I'm pretty sure I do. So I was happy to find like separate um, cut aparts for that. I got the Echo Park Halloween Magic. Probably not for this side. I'm pretty sure there's hollow, uh, journal cards on the other side. There is. So this is Halloween Magic 3x4 journaling cards. Spider webs on one side. Cut aparts on the back side. Again, I just like to use them with any Halloween collection that just matches. I got the Jingle All the Way by Echo Park for obviously this side. The cut aparts side because me and cut aparts, I, I just, I love them all. Um, and I use a ton, a ton, a ton, ton of them, especially since I started making albums. I just use so many. I got this one also from Spooky Pebbles. This one's called Eek. Um, you got four by six cards, some of these smaller ones, a couple of tags. Um, and sometimes you need a four by six and especially this one, if I want to make a certain kind of album. So sometimes those come in handy as well. So I just, I picked them up. And this is the back side, and the back side is actually really nice too. A little bright in the eye, but still very nice. Um, three by four cut aparts from 31 Prima. And I got this one with these three by fours. This one's called 31 Collection Wicked Spells. And this is also in the journal cards, most of these, which let me show you guys the journaling note cards because it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. So I see a ghosty. He's the same ghost as here. This one just doesn't say my boo. Um, you've got the bingo card. This one just says tricks and treats. That one says spooky. You've got the spider web. Same thing. It's just that the this full size sheet is foiled. This one is not. You got this one. That's not on here. Get this wicked one. Same thing. Just this one is foiled. You get the pumpkin patch, that's exactly the same. And actually the journal cards are brighter orange than the um, 12 by 12 sheet. You get the cat, which is right here. They both are the same. Again, this one's just a little brighter. Um, oh, you do get this ghosty that says my boo. That pretty much looks the same, except this one's got specks of the rose gold foiling. You get the bats. That's different. You get these pumpkins. That's also different. And then you get this one also, which is also different. Oh, actually, that's on this sheet. There we go. That's right there in the pumpkins. Um, but yeah, so those were also the journal cards. So I got those three by fours. I got this one from the 31 collection. This one's called Magical Haunt. These are just smaller um, cut aparts. But me and cut aparts, we just love each other. This is from the Wedding Bliss collection. And I got two of these because I am in love with this cut apart that says she said yes. And I just, I used it on my own engagement album. And I just thought it was perfect for engagement albums. The other ones I could obviously use with any other um, wedding collection. But I mainly got it for this part because there's not really any engagement specific collections. So this one, that was just perfect for engagement. Um... I got this from the Jingle All The Way collection. This is from 
simple stories now and again more cut aparts <laughs> just lots of cut aparts in this haul guys um this one is the jack-o-lanterns so i really just like the jack-o-lanterns and the stripes on the other side so i just picked up a couple of sheets of those um mainly for the stripes because when it comes to prima collections a lot of their paper just seems to be very concentrated in pattern like in patterns and not so much patterns like this that kind of divide all of like the busy papers so that's why I got these mainly for this side um to break up some of the other busy patterns then this is from the winter cottage collection it was on sale so I just picked up three nope two of these and I mainly like it for this side with the words just really like it and I do have this collection so um that will come in handy and then I got this one also winter cottage this one's let it snow oh sorry the other one was winter cottage merry and bright this one's winter cottage let it snow so that's this paper and then that and then I got um, this is the I Love Halloween by Echo Park. And again, I got it for the cut aparts. Um, but it's the 4x4 four four journal cards from the I Love Halloween collection. But again, cut aparts. <laughs> Just give me all the cut aparts, guys. Um, then I got this fresh bouquet paper. Uh, two sheets of this for this side because the yellows um, that just seem to go with all the other crepe paper products. And then last but not least, here is the 12 by 12 paper pad from the Prima 31 collection. Um, so let me just quickly flip through these for you guys. So these are slightly different cut aparts or actually maybe I just didn't get this sheet. Um, there might've been single sheets of this, but I just didn't get it. The back side's got the spider webs. So again, more cut aparts. Um, I really like the broom paper. So, you know, I get to pick and choose because I did get some spare sheets as well. The jack-o'-lanterns with the back side. The ghosties and like there's little witches in the background in orange and pink. And the back side are these stars. Um, then these scary cats that say Happy Halloween and spider webs with just polka dots on the back. Like orange, orangey polka dots. This paper with the potion bottles and the cauldrons and the witch hat. The back side is like the candy corn and the lollipops. And then these smaller cut aparts with um, these pumpkins and stars on the back side. And then also the four by six cut aparts. And there goes a the train, as always, with the little ghosties on the back. And that is everything from the 31 collection. Okay guys, so that is my whole entire um, scrapbook.com haul video that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out their sale section. They had a lot on sale recently, which is why I picked up so many of these things. Um, and especially single sheets, which I rarely buy single sheets unless I'm buying the whole collection kit to go with it. But um, I do have these collections, so it's not like I don't. It's just... Um, I just happened to buy a lot of single sheets in this purchase because a lot of them were on sale. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I will have everything linked down below for you guys in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. And that is everything. So I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.